All right, hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, this is probably the most important repair I've done all year. Because my grandson pleased with this. Uh, we bought this garage, Fisher Price garage, 31 years ago and it was used then. <laughs> for my kids and you young people probably wonder well how do you know it's exactly 31 years ago I, when you when you're not young anymore you remember back which house she lived in and how, how long ago it was and all that stuff so believe me it's 31 years and we bought it at a at a yard sale garage sale or something and the problem with this one is uh, when he gets he puts his car in like that. We'll use Denny Hamlin's. All right? And he gets to cranking. When it gets to, oh, we'll go right to the top if it'll stay. Nope, see that? It gets caught there. <coughs> because there's a little piece missing somehow, eh? I'll lower it back down. So right there, there's a gap. So it gets frustrating. He he doesn't care. He just keeps cranking on it. Eh? He's too. But I I'm I'm gonna take a piece of linoleum with a sticky back. I mostly use this for shims to uh, adjust snow blowers. That gap there, eh? the snow blower scraper. But I'm gonna use one of these, and I'm gonna glue it down to here. And then have a small ridge on the end, just teeny tiny ridge, like that, just like that ridge right there. There's a little, there's a little ridge, and then Denny Hamlin won't crash every time he goes up the elevator. So first, I'm going to do is clean a few spots and do a few test sticks. These are new, old NASCARs. That's Kevin Harvick's old car. And that's Junior's old car. But Denny Hamlin still drives the number 11, eh? So, uh, just hang on and we'll continue on the Fisher Price Garage repair. I know. My kids say, my dad can fix anything. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. So, I just took this and I scored it. Now I'm going to uh, see if I can break it in the vise. Can you guys see the vise there? Stick that in there. Good. And we'll just cut along the back. Woo! -hoo. Now we're going to... Before we do any peel and sticking, we're going to see if that'll go up and down all the way first. It looks a little cockeyed. That's better. Now, go down, past the first floor. Down to the floor, right there. We'll see if Denny can drive in there. Good. Now, the big test, what I have to do, we'll change things around again. Is we need a, a lip so the cars don't fall off the other end. So, this is all experimental. Oh yeah, that's dirty. And we'll clean the top of this one off. Do you think this will work? I, I don't know if this is going to stick. Yeah, it might. <coughs> Remember, we're not working on the space shuttle, right? So that, I'm going to squish in the vise. 
So we have a lip for the little tires so they don't get caught, right? Now I'm going to take, that seems pretty good. I'm just going to take this knife and go and just chamfer it. Yeah, that'll work. This stuff can get sharp, okay? Just edges. Good. Now we need some methyl hydrate to clean the elevator. I just like methyl hydrate because it evaporates quickly, right? dry for a minute. We'll just stick that in there and see how it works. Maybe you'll get a maybe I'll get a side view. Okay, we have to make sure that we don't just that it just misses the stop sign. Mm, we might have to shorten it a little bit. <coughs> We're gonna take about less than an eighth of an inch off there. Take a tiny bit more off. Okay, here comes Denny Hamlin. He's gone. Where did he go? Got to drive in. Okay. Got to drive in, right? Let's see if this is a success or not. And he drives out. Yup, that's Denny Hamlin. He crashed upside down. Okay. I think we got it. It just clears here. And then it just clears the stop sign at the bottom. Just a piece of linoleum. And then I cut the edges so that my grandson wouldn't... Ooh, that, that's pretty darn close. Now, I just adjusted it. I probably will have problems now hitting the top. Nope, it's still clearing. Lovely. All right, now the, now the important stuff. Tiny, tiny bit of lithium grease because it's getting sticky, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's already better, hey? I tell you, these Fisher Price people know how to make toys. Or at least they did. I don't know what they're like now. Right there on the gears. Ding, ding, ding. You guys are probably getting a headache. <laughs> We hear that ding a lot. Okay, thanks. All right, this bottom stop sign wasn't working. So I put a weight on it and I made sure that the, the screw didn't protrude out the backs and I filed it so there's no good chance of getting cut. All right. So here we are, garage, right? Stop signs down, stop signs up. We drive in, we go to the top level, we drive up, and onto the ground, just like Denny does. And then, back down, and the little stop sign works now. Because before, when this was up, 
ski with my, my grandson stuffs cars in there and then the elevator can't come back down. So that was just too fun. And I don't, I like, I like them all. Eh? These guys, you know, they're driving these things. I'll go miles an hour. They, they drive these things 10 miles an hour slower than the open wheel cars, which are built like airplanes on, on the ground, right? So it's pretty amazing. Park them in number one. Boom. All right. Aerial shot. The Goodyear aerial shot. 